Good morning, motivation team. Good morning, bad. Good morning, bad community. How y'all are doing this morning? Y'all straight? Hey, bro, it's Tuesday. We getting up and we getting to it, bro. Don't forget to tell y'all family good morning and you love them. Don't forget to pray. Pray in the morning. Pray when you go to sleep. Pray in the middle of the day. Pray whenever you got time to talk to God. But let's get straight into the word today, y'all. How y'all doing, though, for real, for real? I want to know how y'all doing. Let me know down below how y'all feeling this morning. Because I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling great. We on, hey, y'all, we in chapter 24. We in Genesis chapter 24 now. Now, Abraham is old. I mean, we've been knew Abraham was old, but now he old. Like, now he's really old. And the Lord had blessed him with everything. Everything you can think of, the Lord already blessed him with it. He already got a household. He already got service and all that. You know what I'm saying? So he, he good. Now, Abraham calls on to his servant. <clears throat> he calls to his servant. Tell him, come here. He says, put your hand under my thigh and swear an oath by the Lord, the God of heaven and earth, that you won't put my son up to marry any daughter from the Canaanite people that I live among. Take him back to where I'm from, the Eurotrides, where my relatives are and find my, a wife for my son. He replied, what if women refuse to come back with me? Should I just bring Isaac to where, back to where you from? And he says, no, do not take my son back over there. Do not take my son back to where I'm from. The Lord God of heaven took me from my family, from my family home and told me, and he promised me that land would be for my descendants. He will send an angel ahead of you so you can find a wife for my son. But if they do, if the women do refuse, just come back and you'll be released from the oath. Just don't take my son back over there. The servant placed his hand under his thigh and swore an oath to do as he was told. Now, I don't know what the hand under the thigh mean, but um, back then it was some it was some things that we wouldn't do today for sure. Um, Now, the servant is on his journey to find a wife for Isaac. Y'all, I apologize for the, for the noise in the background. The servant took 10 camels to carry valuable gifts from Abraham, and he went on to Mesopotamia, the city of Nahor. As he arrived, he arrived during the evening, he had the camels to kneel down. Now, the servant's smart. What certain area where the females be at, like how we say in Target right now is where, is where females be at the most. This servant knew exactly where the female was going to be at. He said he had, the, he had the camels to kneel down by the wells. So that's where the females come to fill their pictures up. So he had bowed down and prayed. He said, Oh God, the Lord of my master Abraham, please let today be good and show kindness to my master Abraham. Look, I'm standing here by this water and all the young ladies out here coming to get this water. And the process should go like this. While he got the camels over here by the by the well, he he's saying his, his plan going to be as one walk up and fill her picture up. As she's filling her picture up, he going to ask, can he get some of that water? Can he get some of the water that, he just, that, that she just filled up? And if she says yes, she shall offer to give some to the camels too. And that right there, she should be the one to get chosen. And that was his plan. He didn't even get done praying. As soon as he, in the middle of his praying, Rebecca was carrying water on her shoulder. Now the Rebecca, that, that's the daughter of Bethuel. She was carrying water on her shoulder. She was very, she was very beautiful. She was a virgin. She was a woman with no man, basically. She was a woman with no man. She went down to fill up her bottle and came back up. Servant said, all right, time to go. Let's get this ball rolling. Servant runs down to meet her and asks, may I have a few sips of your water? And she said, sure, please drink up. Please drink, my Lord. She lifted up her jar from her shoulder for him to drink. After he was done, she insisted on giving some, of the, some for the camels. Hey, the servant like, 
Appreciate the God. That's how the serve is right now. So she ran back to fill up her to fill up her picture of some more for the for the camel. After all the camels got done drinking, the servant gave her a, a gold earring and two gold bracelets. And he asked her, Whose daughter are you? And um, I'm gonna go and ask you now. Um do you think y'all have any more room for me and my camel to, to stay the night? Now, back then that seemed cool. You know what I'm saying? Now I I don't think I, I don't think nobody gonna pick up a stranger, you know what I'm saying? Pick up a stranger, just ask them, uh, can I stay the night with me and my ten camels? She replied, I'm the daughter of Bethuel. And she continued and said, Yeah, we have plenty of straw and food. And we got we, and we got a spot for you too. And your ten camels. And he bowed down and gave worship to the Lord and said, You have not forgotten and have faithfulness in my master. You have led me directly to the home of my master's relatives. Rebecca ran home to her mother to tell her about her day, to tell her what had happened. Rebecca had a brother, his name was Laban. Laban had overheard and he had, he ain't even noticed yet that she got earrings and two braces on. When Laban made it to the well, he instantly told the man, he instantly told the man to come with him. Cause ain't no way these folks is picking up strangers like this. But hey, everybody was kind, everybody was God fearing. So I feel like back then it was such, it was, it was easy to find you a friend, find you somebody to be cool with. So when Laban made it to the well, he instantly told the man to come with him saying, you who are blessed by the Lord, what are you doing here? My sister, I already heard about you, my guy. Come on back to the come on back to the crib. I got somewhere for you and your ten camels to stay. So the man went home with him, and as they arrived, Laban had had straw and had food for the camels to eat. And he also gave the man some water to wash his feet off with. They also had food ready for him on the walk in. He said, Hey, I'm not eating until I explain what I'm doing here. And Laban like, what you here for? Cause I showed you came and got you from the well and I ain't asked you, I ain't asked you, your, I ain't asked for your name. I ain't asked where you're from, who you came with, why you got 10 camels. I ain't asked none of that. So yeah, yeah, explain please. If y'all want to read with me, chapter 24 verses 34 all the way through 48. I'm gonna try to read my best. So he explained what had happened. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has greatly blessed my master and he has become great. He has given him flocks of herds, silver and gold, male servants, female servants, camels, donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old and told him he was given all that he had. My master made me swear, saying, you shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell, but you shall go to my father's house and to my clan and take a wife for my son. I said to my master, perhaps the woman will not follow me, but he said to me, the Lord before whom I have walked will send his angel with you and prosper your way. You shall take a wife for my son from my clan and from my father's house. Then you will be free from my oath when you come to my clan and if they will not give her to you, you will be free from my oath. I came today to the spring and said, O oh Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if now you are prospering the way that I go, behold, I am standing by the spring of, of water. Let the virgin who comes out to draw water to whom I shall say, please give me a little water from your jar to drink. And who will say to me, drink, and I will draw for your camels also. Let her be the woman whom the Lord has appointed from my for my master's son. Before I had finished speaking in my heart, behold, Rebecca came out with her water jar on her shoulder, and she went down to the spring and drew water. I said to her, please let me drink. She quickly laid down her jar from her shoulder and said, drink. I will give your camels to drink also. So I drank, and she gave the camels to drink also. Then I asked her, whose daughter are you? She said, the daughter of Becky Well. Now her son, whom Milcah bore to him. So I put the ring on her nose. Y'all, right there, it, it says a nose ring. But in the King James Version, it says earring. So you can, you can do either or. So I put the ring on her nose 
and the braces on her arms. Then I bowed my head and worshiped the Lord and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me by the right way to take the daughter of my master's kinsman. Whew. All right. So after he explained all of that, he then said, now you heard me. Now I want to hear from you. Is there something y'all accept? If not, then I'll just be on my way. I'll probably go back to the to the well and uh go fishing again. So Laban and Beth and Bethy Well, they spoke and they say, Well, it's from the if it's from the Lord, then we can't really argue. So as he heard their decision, he bowed down and worshiped the Lord. He then unpacked silver and gold jewelry and raiment. Now the Bible says raiment. Raiment means clothing so he pulled silver gold and clothing out of his out of the bag gave it to laban gave it to rebecca and gave it to bethy with his, her mama as the night goes on they ate and then they went to sleep woke up early you know they wake up real early so they wake up early abraham serving like okay let's go i'm, I'm ready to go i didn't got I, I didn't got my boy wife hey is hey we good now Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, so like, she and she can go for sure, but just wait about ten days. You know what I'm saying? Just give us ten days or so, and she'll be ready for sure. And he like, whoa! Please don't hold me back right now. Please don't hold me back. The Lord sent me on this journey. The journey was successful. Please don't don't hold me back now. They just now asking Rebecca. If she wants to leave now. Why, why we ain't ask her last night? Before we ate. When I when I discussed why I'm here. But luckily. She said yeah. She'll go ahead and leave now. So Rebecca brings her nurse. That, that been around since she was a baby. That been around since she was small. And then they, they then bless Rebecca. Genesis 24 verse 60. And they bless Rebecca. And said unto her. Thou art our sister. Be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of who of those which hate them. That was the blessing that they said to Rebecca. Rebecca then got up, her and her girl servants, they all got on the camel and followed Abraham's servant back to Abraham. Now, Isaac. He was in the field. He just returned from La Haroy, and that's where he was at in the south of the country. He was in the fields just thinking. He was pacing back and forth. He was thinking. He was still going. He was still grieving over his mother's death. He see camel in the in the distance. And he like. And Rebecca, she also looking. She also seeing who she like, who was that man over there in the field? Abraham serving like. That's my master. That's Isaac. That's Isaac right there. So she put her veil on to cover her face. The servant told Isaac everything he'd been through. Isaac took Rebecca by her hand. He led her to his mother's tent. And he married her. He loved her. She brought him comfort after his mother's passing. And I guess that's, that's all that matters, y'all. That's the end of that right there. It's chapter, that, was, that was the whole chapter 24. Y'all come back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? See what else we got for tomorrow, y'all. But y'all, the journey don't stop. The journey don't stop, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, like the video. Like, comment. Like I said in the beginning, y'all. Comment how y'all day going. Comment what y'all thought about chapter 24. Should he have married a woman he ain't, he ain't seen in... A day in his life he ain't met for 30 seconds yet. Back then, shoot, it looked like love was even easy to find. Everybody was everybody was God-fearing. So that is that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, like I said, y'all, thank y'all for watching, thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a great day, have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all for watching. I'm out.